Alright guys, today is going to be part 8 of the Illuminati card game, and um, hopefully this is the last part, and I can go back and uh, edit uh, the video so I can give you the complete story in one video, but before I do that I have to link my account with a cell phone. I don't own a cell phone, so I'm going to have to talk to one of my friends, see if they're going to be willing to let me link my account to their cell phone, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, the bronze statue, and I believe this is why we were in Gaza, just to get this statue. Um, the bronze head, the artifact, the um, the, the ancient uh, wisdom and ancient technology that we're always going into these countries and taking. Um, yeah, so I believe that's what that card's about. Uh, the annual convention. Uh, this could be the annual convention. I don't know. This is a recording of a recording off of a television. So whether or not this was an actual event, or if this was a stage, a play of some sort, or a television show, or a movie, I'm not 100% sure on that. The interesting thing is that this lady does the exact same dance as Beyonce did in the Grammys. So I thought that was interesting. That's why I threw it up there exposed that this could be or could not be the Canadian uh, mayor who was called on camera smoking crack I don't know kinda fits though uh, new blood I think this is kinda hinting to the uh, human animal hybrids the future of mankind and the purge I think this is dealing with the recent uh, suspicious deaths of the banker, uh, the banker elite. Uh, I'll leave links to all this stuff. So I think that, you know, these cards are hinting to what's going on. To uh, at, this, at this very point in time, that's what these cards are dealing with. And now I want to jump into the future and uh, some more current events. Early warning. Whether or not that this card is in fact pointing to the 370 uh, missing flight, I don't know. But I do know that it is a strange coincidence that uh, when you turn this to the right, it looks like exactly where they were searching. Um, in fact, if if uh, if you want to get a uh, in-depth look at this, there is a gentleman. There's the uh, there's the trident again. There's a gentleman by the name of uh, Marishima 2012 who did an ab absolutely excellent report on this. Um, so if you want to go and check out that uh, video, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, what, Like I said, whether or not it's true, whether or not this is what it is, let's hope not. Uh, because, you know, I've always looked for this early warning because it's going to lead to one of two events or both events. Um, and the early warning is for them to get to their deep underground military base in preparation for um, World War III and the meteor strike and or a meteor strike both of which have been in the news lately um, uh, we've had numerous reports of uh, burning uh, fireballs in the sky uh, numerous close calls according to NASA which you know could very well be a hoax um, yeah we've had a lot of reports here as of late uh, about meteors and close calls and comets and uh, all this other stuff that's just floating around out there and we've also had talks about World War three with uh, Russia Ukraine uh, Iran China North Korea goes on and on and on right now there's a lot of crap going on I want to go back to this though the deep underground military bases and this is just my two cents I don't know why anybody else uh, hasn't talked about this or hasn't made this connection. Um, but the the uh, the sinkholes and the the mysteriously uh, loud booms, I believe that they are uh, attributed uh, to the deep underground military bases. Uh, the explosions could be shaped charges or underground nuclear explosions uh, to clear out debris and rock. Uh, the sinkholes could be of, of collapses that are happening underneath the earth. Um, I mean, if you think about it, uh, as above, so too below. Or you know, every action has an opposite and equal reaction. If you take dirt from below, uh, below 
are beneath the surface and you have a collapse above the surface then that's probably because there was a collapse below the surface that's just my opinion you don't have to agree with that it could very well be a combination of uh, the earthquake machine or could be a combination of geological events and natural geological events and it could be uh, fracking uh, it could be all these things it could be a combination or none of the above I don't claim to know but my uh, observation leads me to believe that the the creation of deep underground military bases is why we are having sinkholes. Just my two cents. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Nuclear capability. I believe that this is a uh, hinting to the missing nukes from South Carolina. We had uh, a report in the mainstream news not too long ago of uh, missing nuclear weapons, and I believe that this is hinting to a false flag. Uh, America will be responsible for nuking itself and blaming another country. This is uh, time and time again, same page torn out of the textbook. Um, and this is a article that shows that 50 nuclear warheads have gone missing. So, what is this leading to? Top commanders over the United States nuclear arsenal uh, have been dismissed within 48 hours of each other. This happened back in uh, October 11th of uh, 2013. Uh, and here's a list of these people who have been in charge of these nuclear warheads and have been dismissed. I wonder why. Rogue Boomer. Uh, this, I believe, is going to be the one that brings forth the false flag. We are going to have a uh, submarine who is a black ops submarine who is going to nuke our own country uh, with these stolen warheads. And uh, another play on the Trident. Uh, the Trident missile is a submarine launched ballistic missile. Um, it's launched from a submarine and these are nuclear warheads or they have the capability of being nuclear warheads so <clears throat> another play on the trident and I'm gonna play this video for you uh, at least a clip of it so you can kinda understand where I'm coming from the strategy that Werner von Braun taught me was that first the Russians are going to be considered to be the enemy in fact when I met him in 74 they were the enemy the identified enemy we were told that they had killer satellites we were told that they were coming to get us and control us, the dirty commies, that whole story. First, the Russians were the enemy against whom we're going to build space-based weapons. Then terrorists would be identified, and that was soon to follow. We heard a lot about terrorism. Then we were going to identify third world country crazies. We now call them nations of concern. But he said that would be the third enemy against whom we would be needing to build space-based weapons. And the next enemy was asteroids. Now at this point, he kind of chuckled the first time he said it. Asteroids against asteroids were going to build space-based weapons. So it was funny then. And the funniest one of all was against what he called aliens, extraterrestrials. That would be the final card. And over and over and over during the four years that I knew him and was giving his speeches for him, he would bring up that last card and remember, Carol, the last card is the alien card. We're going to have to build space-based weapons against aliens. And I'm going to stop it there. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? The point of that was to show you that this has been in the works for a long time. Um, the constant uh, bashing into your head, the alien threat, the alien threat, like I said uh, in a previous video, the uh, mainstream networks are all working together to deceive you. So when you see ancient aliens on the History Channel, don't expect any truth. Expect to be entertained, because that's what it's there for. 
Um, and this card is kind of hinting to, hey, you guys aren't going to get it when it happens. Uh, but they are actually interdimensional beings, and that's my personal belief. You're free to believe what you want. Um, I believe that they are shape-shifting. Uh, the craft that we see in the sky are either one of two things. They are black budget, created by our military, or they are interdimensional beings that can shape-shift into anything they want. Um, and anything that you can perceive them as. So if, if you are conditioned to perceive them as an alien, then that's what you'll perceive them as. Um, I believe that I believe uh, in interdimensional beings. I don't believe in aliens from another planet. That's just my personal belief. I believe they're from within the Earth. Um, and I don't know which order these are going to be in, these cards. I have no clue. All I know is that these are the future. Uh, the charismatic leader who will be named as the Messiah. And uh, this is uh, the FEMA camps. Like I said, I don't know which order these are going to be in. All I can do is show you what's in the cards. The foreign aid. Now this is an interesting card because we have the four unions that Aaron Russo had warned us about before he was murdered. Um, the North American, the African, the uh, European, and obviously this is the Asian Euro uh, Union. How we know it's the Asian Union because of the clothes. Look how look how that hangs off of his wrist. That is definitely Oriental. Not to be a uh, racist or anything. I'm just saying that's that's Oriental clothing if I've ever seen it. So we have the four unions that Aaron Russo was warning us about, and the alien monetary system is going to be the chip, the RFID chip. I've already gone over this. <coughs> And another video about Orbit One and all that. Numerex Satellite Solutions, the number of his name, Numerex Satellite Solutions. That's just another play on words. And uh, here's Aaron Russo. I'll make, uh, put this short clip together. Uh, I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family. And he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney. And uh, we became friends. We started talking about things. And um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller. And one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks, and they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalistic country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us, right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto, right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System, okay? So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers, where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips. And there you have the four unions, the North American Union, the European Union, the African Union, the Asian Union, and uh, nobody's really explained to me what's going to happen to South America. So. I don't know. A lot of you may remember uh, FEMA had purchased 30,000 French made guillotines along with close to a million plastic coffins, probably more than that. Uh, all the videos I've seen on the plastic coffins. And finally the last card. The end of the world. Thanks for listening.